my favorite scriptures. God is love. God knows everything. You have made everything by your power. There is nothing too difficult for you to do for me, God. God with me is mighty and awesome. You formed my inward parts. You covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works, and that my soul knows very well, God. I will be a father to you, says the Lord God Almighty. Jesus said, Your Father in heaven is perfect. Jesus said, God the Father loves you. How great is your goodness, O Lord! O oh, taste and see that God is good. Blessed is the person who trusts in him. God will love you and bless you. Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Jesus said, I am always with you. I am always with you, O Lord. You hold me by my right hand. God is your husband. As the bridegroom rejoices over the bride, so shall your God rejoice over you. Jesus said, When the Father sends the Holy Spirit, He will teach you everything that you need to know. Jesus said, My sheep hear my voice, and they follow me. If any of you lacks wisdom, ask God for it, and he will give it to you. Be imitators of God as dearly loved children and live a life of love just as Christ loved us and gave himself for us as a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. Jesus said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. This is love, not that we love God, but that he loved us and sent his Son to be the sacrifice for our sins. Jesus said, Greater love has no one than this, than to lay down one's life for his friends. You are my friends. The fruit of the Holy Spirit living in you is love, joy, and peace. Jesus said, May my joy be in you, so that your joy may be full. You will make me full of joy in your presence, O Lord. God will fill your mouth with laughing and your lips with shouts of joy. Be joyful always.
In God's presence is a fullness of joy. God experiences joy in the presence of his people. God inhabits the praises of his people. We can boldly enter God's holy, joy-filled presence because of our faith in the blood of Jesus to enable us to do it. The blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin. God is faithful to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from them all. And when I see your faith in the blood, I will pass my judgment over you, says the Lord. I will forgive their sin and remember it no more, says the Lord. For God made Jesus to be sin for us, who knew no sin, so that we might be made righteous by God through him. We have received God's wonderful, gracious, free gift of righteousness. By grace we have been saved through faith. It is not done by ourselves. It is a gift from God. It is not by our works so that we don't boast in them. You will keep them in perfect peace whose mind is focused on you because they trust in you, Lord. The God of love and peace will be with you. I will let my people enjoy abundant peace and safety, says the Lord. The Lord will take good care of me. The Lord will guide you always and satisfy your needs. God, who did not spare his own son Jesus, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? My God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Those who seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. Those who walk in God's right way and speak what is right, their bread and water will be supplied to them. God is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. If you seek God with all of your heart, then you will find him. Draw close to God, and God will draw close to you. The Lord is near to all who call upon him. Help me, God. Jesus said, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. Ask, and you will receive, that your joy may be full. This is the confidence we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything that is according to his will, we will receive what we have asked of him. Learn to be content with the things that the Lord gives you. Continually praise and thank God. God is our place of safety and strength 
a very present help in our times of trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. Don't be afraid, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my victorious right hand. God has said, I will never leave or forsake you. So we may boldly say, God is my helper. I will not fear what evil people can do to me. Though an army may come against me, my heart will not fear. Jesus said, You shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall become witnesses of me to the world. God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can think of or ask for according to the power that he works in us. The people who know their God shall be strong and do great exploits. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Greater is God who is in you than the devil who is in the world. The Lord Most High is awesome. He is the great king of all the earth. God has highly exalted Jesus and given him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. God is on the throne of heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. The Lord does whatever he pleases in heaven and on the earth. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord, and he directs it wherever he wishes. Jesus said, I have given you authority over all the power of the enemy. Nothing will harm you. But don't rejoice just because evil spirits obey you. Rejoice because your names are written down as citizens of heaven. If God is for us, who can be against us? If you obey my voice and do all that I speak, then I will be an enemy to your enemies, says the Lord. With God we shall gain the victory, for it is he who shall trample down our enemies. God surrounds me like a shield. Blessed is the person who endures temptation, for when they have been approved, they will receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised to those who love him. Obey God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you in terror. God is your protection, and underneath you are his everlasting arms. Jesus learned to obey God through the things which he suffered. Paul said, Follow my example like I follow Christ's example. For the Lord your God is testing you to know whether you love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul or not.
God allowed you to suffer in order to humble you and test you and to try to do good to you through it. God can work out everything which happens to us out for our good. I am able to do everything that I need to do with Christ who helps me to do it. Jesus is now living in me. Whoever trusts in the Lord shall be safe. The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. I will lie down and sleep in peace. For you alone, O oh Lord, make me dwell in safety. Jesus said, Do not worry about your future needs, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? But instead, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all of these things shall be added unto you. I have set the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I shall not be moved. Therefore, my heart is joyful and my body is restful. Put your eyes on Jesus, the Creator of your faith. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. And though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, and your rod and your staff, they comfort me. The church continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship, in the breaking of bread, and in prayers. Then fear came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were done through the apostles. Now all who believed were together, and they had all things in common, and they sold their possessions and goods and divided them among all as anyone had need. So continuing daily, and breaking bread from house to house, they ate their food with gladness and simplicity of heart, praising God and having favor with all people. And the Lord added to the church daily those who were being saved. Jesus said, A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another, like I have loved you. By this will everyone know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. Love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy what others have or is proud. It does not behave hurtfully. It is not selfish or easily angered. It doesn't think unloving evil things. It does not rejoice in unloving behavior. It rejoices in the truth. Love never fails. And now abide faith, hope, love, these three, but the greatest of these is love. 
Let all that you do be done with love. Most importantly, have fervent love for each other. Don't be angry at others. Forgive them like God has forgiven you. Jesus said, Blessed are you when they revile and persecute you and say all kinds of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. For this world is not our home. We are looking forward to our city in heaven, which is yet to come. For we know that when this earthly tent that we live in is taken down, when we die and leave these bodies, we will have a home in heaven, an eternal body made for us by God himself not by human hands. We grow weary in our present bodies and we long for the day when we will put on our new heavenly bodies like new clothing. We know that while we are in our bodies here on earth, we are absent from the Lord. We would much rather be absent from our body here on earth than be present with the Lord in heaven instead. I has not seen or ear heard or has it entered into the heart of people the things which God has prepared for those who love him in heaven. I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the old heaven and the old earth had passed away. And I heard a loud shout from the throne saying, Look, the home of God is now among his people. He will live with them, and they will be his people, and God himself will be with them. He will remove all of their sorrows, and there will be no more death or sorrow or crying or pain anymore. For the old world and its evils will be gone forever. And the one sitting on the throne said, Look, I am making everything new now. God gave his faithful children great careers of being kings and priests in his heavenly kingdom forever. God will give his children everlasting joy forever in heaven.